Hi guys, welcome to a brand new vlog. I'm not looking my absolute best, although Alex just said I look very chiseled and contoured. <laughs> I'm with my Alex at the hot blend. I washed my hair this morning. And she's, oh, look how beautiful Hi. she is. <laughs> okay, I'm here for my nails. Right, so my nails are killing me. I bashed this one yesterday on a cardboard box. Oh. That was throbbing for hours. This one has two cuts, I know, Ouch. on each, each side. And this one has a cut in here. Can we save the, can save them? I think so I, you know what? I knew that it was a long time and I straight away got ready your magical glitter <gasps> fixer. You knew, <laughs> you knew this was gonna be a savage. Also, yeah. look at the state. Look how, look how long that growth is. When, when was I here? Oh, I think it's over four weeks now. Four weeks. That's bad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's really bad of me. It's really bad of me. I think that we should do some Christmas artwork. I have new techniques. Do you really? Yeah. Like what? Um, so I have a new technique how to do chrome. So we could maybe make a more clean version of that design you like. Oh my God. And I've just done a Russian manicure training. So, you know. More training. This girl, honestly. <laughs> Wait, can I put this here? Just trying the best of the best. Oh, <laughs> that's day. Oh my God, it does. Yay. I mean, I feel like this is like a temporary. <laughs> oh yeah, Alex is doing up her studio at the moment, so it'll be really different soon, but I really love it, it's so beautiful, I think it's so gorgeous in here, honestly. We're currently soaking, we have Home Alone on. Buzz your girlfriend, woof! You're gonna have a whole green background with this. <laughs> no, no, you it looks really change. good! You can put like, I don't know, a background of New York or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Cheers, babe! <laughs> Thank you so much! Oh. Okay, we're a couple of hours in. We have gotten rid of my previous set, but my nails are all better. Well, although I do have, I still have a couple of the little cuts, but we're going to put silks on them, didn't you say? Yeah. To hold, hold this together. We'll probably make it to home alone for at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This is like watching magic happen, guys. Watch, watch this. This is insane. So wave Look first. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh. Can you see? Yeah. Mm. So beautiful. So we've gone for the chrome on the thumb and the index and the little finger. And then these two, look at them. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. Okay, we are finished. <laughs> it took a little bit of time, but we got the most perfect Christmas nails. Like these are so totally me. Like it's my usual Bayard 19 for the pink, but then with a chrome top coat on these three fingers. And then these two have the chrome finished snowflakes. Oh, they look so gorgeous. I'm so, so happy with these. Good afternoon, everybody. I am having one of those days today where I just need to kind of get up and go and do some things. I've been with my gardener all morning. We've been doing a few different things in the garden. Well, she has, I've been helping direct. Uh, we've had a few things delivered because we've just changed a few things up in the garden. So it's been one of those days where I'm kind of waiting for deliveries and the deliveries are coming and obviously all the Christmas presents and the boxes are being delivered and it's one of those kind of times where there's a lot happening in one day and so it's distracting me. And all day I've been wanting to do this. So I have a full box here of Prada products to try. I've even got some brushes in here, I've got skin, I've got makeup. And I'm really interested in showing you what I think about everything as a real like first impressions video. First product in skin is their cleanser. Gorgeous silver packaging. I really like how almost futuristic feeling this whole brand is. So it's a gel cream consistency. There isn't a huge deal of scent to it, but it does smell light, super fresh. My skin does feel super duper clean, almost towards that squeaky clean feeling. I will genuinely use that again. I might add that into my skincare drawer. Keep trying that. Augmented skin serum. Formulated with peptides, hyaluronic acid and squalane. So the skin structure looks revitalised, skin texture appears refined and a mastered radiance is revealed. Stunning packaging. This is really lightweight. It just feels very creamy. It doesn't feel like a gel. It's not got that silicone feeling that you can get in serums. Already feels like it's sinking in, completely sunk in. It's not sticky, it's not tacky. It's a really lovely lightweight layer. 
And the final skincare is the Augmented Skin Cream. Vitamin C, G, and ceramides, proxylane, gel to balm cream, through plumping, smoothing, and radiance. I must admit, I love the green. The green of Prada, the whole rebranding to this beautiful like peppermint green, I think is really stylish. The amount of money and time and effort that's gone into the packaging is really impressive. A little bit on here. Oh, that is nice. Oh, it's cooling. Oh, I really, really like this. It feels so lovely on the skin. It feels super plumping. It has that almost primer feel. Perfect for putting makeup over the top, which bodes well because we're about to apply some Prada makeup. Okay, so out of the three skin products, if you were to buy one, I would recommend the cream the most. That's my favorite of all three. Like I said, all of them have lovely qualities to them. I really, really like that. Prada Reveal Skin Optimizing Foundation. It comes in 33 shades, I believe. Niacinamide, vitamin E. Improve the overall skin look. Skin feels moisturized, diffusing a healthy glow and refines the skin's texture. Again, the mix of the gold with the silver. Such a lovely touch with this. So this beautiful packaging you can keep and then just buy the refill. I'm gonna go with LW10. Prada have also sent me over some of their tools to try. I'm really impressed. They're beautiful, full metal. I'm just gonna use this brush specifically just to start adding some onto the skin. But I might finish off using my hands to continue. Wow. Oh, it's a lovely match for me actually, especially for my neck, it matches beautifully. Let's see how it covers up this little red nose of mine. Constantly red nose. If I was to label this foundation from this experience, it is second skin. Second skin foundation is exactly what I would call it. See, this is with this is with really full lights on now, just to get a little bit more of that, more of that natural glow through. It's a lovely natural radiance. I'm incredibly impressed with this. Incredibly impressed. I think it looks. That looks amazing. So these are Prada lipsticks, a Prada monochrome, Prada buildable weightless lip colour. B102, again, these are refillable. B102, very much my kind of thing. Very textured surface. This is P157, gorgeous shade. R28, really stunning red. Now let's make it look more orange. That there is a much better interpretation of this. Well, that's nice. This comes out of here. Let's give this a go. So this is R28. Red with like a cherry undertone is my favourite kind of red to wear. So first impressions, love the shade. I love the feel. It's buildable. It's a really lovely finish. My lovely gardener was blowing the leaves outside and it was making a lot of noise, so actually I couldn't carry on filming, so I thought I'll take the time and put on some makeup. Um, however, I'm not putting anything on my eyes, and that is the last product that I'm gonna try with you, and it is these gorgeous eyeshadow palettes. This one looks like it's got a little bit of shimmer, these two look a little more, this looks a bit more satin, that one a bit more matte. I'll start with this one, number five. Really lovely taupe brown. It's a really nice shade, actually. On both eyes, they've blended beautifully. Number six brush, a little bit smaller, taking the gold. Oh, actually picks it up really well on the brush. I'm gonna go into this inner corner. Oh wow. I wasn't expecting so much pigment to come off on the brush, often with shimmers like this. You've gotta use the heat of your finger to actually make them do anything, but this is gorgeous. Genuinely, I would go as far as saying here this might be one of the most blendable, easily applied gold shimmer eyeshadows. I've ever used. Like genuinely, I'm so impressed. And for a tiny bit more eyeshadow, the 07, into this dark brown. I'm just gonna smoke out the lash line a little bit. And I'm also not getting any fallout, which is amazing. I mean, look, I've been dabbing into this palette. There's no kickback, even with the gold. Finished look, and I am so impressed with this. It feels so flawless and so pretty with this gorgeous red lip. I literally was just going through my box of Prada and realized I hadn't opened one lipstick and it is the lipstick of dreams. Look at this shade. This is B02. I really love nudes applied over reds. Almost makes it a bit mauvey. This is the color of the nude. 
Oh, I love that. As someone trying this brand genuinely for the first time, the makeup has blown me away. All three products, eyeshadow, lipsticks, and foundation, I would highly, highly recommend. I am extremely impressed, and now I feel absolutely amazing. Right, I am back. I'm not gonna lie, because we did nail art, and because me and Alex are actually really, really good friends, we just ended up chatting and chatting and chatting. We were chatting about Christmas, we were chatting about what's been going on. She been telling me about her things, my things. And so we were chatting for hours. So the nails always take longer because we're always just too busy going oh, and, and, you know, moving around. So I was there for a number of hours. Um, my nails so look unreal. Can you, can you see? Sorry, I, I want to put more lights on. I'm a little bit wary that quite enough light in here but hopefully yeah so as you saw I went for this so it's like this beautiful pink chrome and then the beautiful snowflakes on these two fingers don't mind my fingers so my, my fingers are a bit wonky it's not the nails it's just my fingers are a bit wonky can't help it just runs in my family <laughs> um funny joints especially this finger you can see it there I have a really really wonky um really wonky middle finger yeah, I'm thrilled with them. Anyway, because I was there so long, it kind of put a bit of a dent in the day. I went to a reformers class this morning, absolutely loved it. I've just, actually, I love reformers so much that I've actually decided to buy a reformers bench for the house. I've always wanted one and I never thought we'd be able to fit it in and actually I've just decided I'm gonna to have to make it fit because I really, really want one. I, I love how it makes me feel like my mental health and how I feel when I'm on a reformers and I love the fact it's just a pure stretching device and I just feel so great after it and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a reformers bench to have in the house and then I am going to hopefully get lessons from an incredible lady that lives nearby called Georgina and she's just amazing and I'm hoping that I can pay for her to be my teacher my private instructor I mean that would be my dream so that's the idea so I'm going to buy my own reformers bed so hopefully it'll be on order soon and uh, yeah big treat to myself but I think I'll really really enjoy it so anyway anyway I am going to wrap my prezies finally I just feel I need to get get going on it Plus, I really want to sort of see what I've got. I've been like collecting all, all of Alex's presents. I've gone a little bit crazy this year, I'm not gonna lie. Me and Alex both said, let's just buy like, just one or two presents that really mean something. I was like, okay, good idea. And actually it's got to the point where I was like, I'd like to get him this and get him this and get him this. So I've gone a little bit crazy. We've also got something quite special planned as well. I'm not gonna say who for or why, but and we've got an idea anyway that we're doing. So got that to think about and I just, I just need to see what I've got so far get everything beautifully wrapped up so let's just get us prepared now like I said I've, I've got a lot I have Cox and Cox ribbons I've got gold shimmery ribbons again I've got white metallic Cox and Cox yeah a baby this is craft paper recycled craft paper and it's sorry it's this is recyclable craft tape so I can tape up all my presents and it's recyclable. And then I've got my bits and bobs from Cox and Cox. So I've got these gorgeous stars that I'm going to loop ribbons through. Whee! I've got these little gingerbreads from Cox and Cox. I've shown you all this before, but I'm just getting it all out. This is, I keep everything in here all year round. Actually, this is like my place I store things. Oh, wow. Oh my God. I've got even more from Cado. I forgot. Beautiful. Oh, these are so pretty. Satin. These are satin green and satin blue ribbons. So as you can see, I'm getting got a bit of a jewel tone vibe here. Golds, jewel tones. Let's get everything over here. My husband has come to join me. He won't be able to stay long though, because otherwise he will see his present. No, you've not. For a number of people, we've got a lot of alcohol bits. We've got a couple of bottles of, you know, like whiskeys, red wines. That red wine is Oh, this this is great, guys. The Chateau Neuf du Pape. Um, Chateau Neuf du Pape, Chez du Batard 2022. We got it the other week. It's about £25. Got it the other week because we go into a friend's house for Christmas dinner and they love red wine. So I thought, let's get them a Chateau Neuf du Pape because, you know, it's just quite a famous red. And it was amazing. Like, we left it out so it could breathe for a bit. And then we had it like 30 minutes later and it's so good. So I've started buying that as a gift for like loads of people who like red wine. So I think it's genuinely a brilliant red wine. Like even Matt, 
who's a bit of a red connoisseur, even he was like, this is a flipping good red wine. I picked up a number of craft paper bags, like these. Just really simple craft paper bags for them all to go in. And then, this is vacuum sealed. Oh, that's what I went going into the kitchen for. Sorry babe, would you mind just going to get me the beautiful gold scissors? You're good, aren't you? You want to see what these are? I just thought it's so hard to wrap like bottles and make them look good, so I thought I'd just get extra bits. So I also bought these bags, so like almost like linen style bags, just to put the bottles in. And I'm going to put ribbons around the tops and then put them inside of the craft bags and then put a little something on the end of that. So, for example, this one is for friends that are coming over on the weekend. Just looks nice, doesn't it? Look. Just a little bag to put it in. And then I will put some green ribbon around the tops of them, just to make them look so they've got a big bow on the fronts. So what are you going getting done? Tattoo laser. Going getting some laser done. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. This here, which is pretty much like it's almost gone. It's not bad, I reckon. Not bad at all. Three or four sessions and that should just be back to normal skin again. But you're going to go over it anyway, aren't you? With uh, all tattoos. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So well, I'm trying somewhere new tomorrow. I'm going to somewhere called Cloak and Dagger. And I think it's in Shoreditch. Oh, so, somewhere new, are you? Yeah, which I'm actually kind of glad I'm going to Shoreditch as well because I like having a little wander around there as well. They were and toot around. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd film a little bit, but I don't think anybody wants to see my skin getting absolutely yeah. frazzled. Yeah, uh, genuinely, I bet people will want to watch that. I don't know. It's pretty, a lot of people who... I think it'll be pretty split. Yeah, it's not as gruesome as you would imagine, but it's... I think people would be interested to see that, to be honest. Maybe I'll get a little bit. I'm quite intrigued to see what the process looks like. Mm. Right, so a little cute little bow on there and then into the bag so it's just a cute little extra isn't it it's just nice i was speaking to Suze earlier about the idea of um the manchester christmas markets oh, yeah. and getting these yorkshire pudding wraps and she was all over it <laughs> she was like hell yeah babe that sounds great what day is that week a couple of weekends cute okay nice so they have a little bow and a star. Yeah, it's just a little more than just putting a, a bottle in a bag, I suppose, isn't it? And then I'll write on in my gold pen. I've got a little found the small little labels that have punctured hearts in them. I've no idea where these have come from, but fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so the next one that I do I'm going to attach the label behind the star. Yes, I'll attach that behind the star and then I can put the person's name on it. Where on earth did they come from? I've literally no idea where they've just arrived from, but, but I'm thrilled. Thrilled with that. Do you know what? I'm going to start again with the bow. of actually having some quiet alone time. Who would have thought, hey? Most things I do, I do on camera. And uh, and then I realised that I wasn't with you and felt almost guilty. But also, I'm doing quite a nice little task and I think you'll quite enjoy this. The other day when I went out to a birthday party, I realised that my jewellery collection was in a little bit of a shambles and everything was just everywhere and mixed up and I couldn't really find anything. And also I kind of looked at everything and thought so many older pieces in here that I just don't wear or that have gone off coloured and it needed a bit of a tidy up. And so I'm in the midst of tidying up my jewellery collection. These are my kind of like high street premium jewellery pieces. I'm not talking about designer designer in terms of like the Dior's, the Bulgari's, Tiffany's, Cartier, etc. When it comes to the more, you know, high street premium jewellery pieces, I have a number that I absolutely love and I've just been going through and pulling out some pieces that I'm like, oh well that's off colour so that needs to go but this is amazing and I haven't used this in a long time and I'm kind of putting everything nicely into sections. Um, so I thought I'd kind of show you what I've been doing. I have a lot of these, these are called stackers. You can get these 
and they all stack together obviously that's the idea but you can get them with lots of different trays and and interior sections so for example i have this one but then like i say this one's completely different with like larger spaces for watches or larger pieces but this one i really love to keep for my necklaces so in this tray i've got a lot of really gorgeous bits i've kind of tried to make it uh the silvers versus the golds let's see i mean things like this that you saw i wore one of these the other day uh, Thomas Sabo. Some of my most like prized Thomas Sabo pieces. Like I was an ambassador for Thomas Sabo for a couple of years. Loved working with them. I haven't worked with them in years actually. But these were some of my favourite pieces and this is what I wore the other night. Gorgeous silver gem. Huge necklaces. So I've got both of them in silver. So I've also got a couple of other pieces from Thomas Sabo. Like they did this whole range of like the moon and stars. They're, they're, all, they're slightly going off colour, so I do need to do some clean-ups here, really. Got a Vivian Westwood. I bought this so, so long ago, actually. Um, so long ago, but it's just super classic. It's just that really classic necklace that you could also layer up with lots of other things. I don't know, it's weird. I want to say, say Tiffany with this, but I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure this is Alighieri, this particular necklace. Then I often wear it with this piece, especially on holidays. When I'm wearing holiday, I like to wear more kind of like shell vibe, more chilled kind of jewellery. And again, I think this might be Alighieri as well. Oh no, Chan Lu. Chan L U U. So maybe this is from the same place too, but I wear these stacked together because they just work really nice as a pairing. So I have a number of gorgeous pieces that, in honesty, I'm not overly sure where they're from. Like I've got this stunning, thicker loop chain that's just really lovely same with this one super tiny lightweight elongated sections it's a pretty one they all just work as really nice layering pieces this is edge of amber amazing i don't know if they still do it though i think this is edge of amber it's a really beautiful piece uh, yeah and again like i said just got a number of gorgeous pieces like this flat snake chain and then this very kind of snaky, thin, snaky piece. Just super simple and classic. Oh, and then this could be Alighieri. I know I've got a few bits. So these, a lot of these in here are very lightweight chains. We, then we start to get into my larger, thicker piece collection. Things like this, huge chunky boys. This is, was an amazing gift from the Louis Vuitton team. Technically this should be in a different collection, but it's out here, so I'll show you. Huge, big, chunky chain with little dots on it for the Yayoi Kazama collaboration. That was Louie. This is Chloe. Really gorgeous Chloe chain. Just like attaches like that. It's really gorgeous. I love choker necklaces. See, so look, so cool. Just throughout. I'm kind of hoping that big chunky necklaces do make a comeback at some point because I still love them. Then we have this really lovely, super large flat chain. Again, really gorgeous choker style. Jimmy Choo, huge big Jimmy Choo choker. What's going on here? Hi babe. Hello. I'm, I'm tidying up my jewelry collection. Is that Tory Butch? I went and had some of that Stilton before that the guys brought out last night. Yeah. It is so good. Oh, well there actually is some that wasn't burnt. It, no, no enormous block of Stilton, yeah. Did you tell I've everyone eaten a lot about of it. Uh, No, I've not. So we have this camembert. Liz and Phil bought this camembert. And I'd quickly put some garlic in it, put some honey on it. Stupidly, I should have put a lid on the camembert holder. But I was thinking, let's quickly quickly cook this and get also, it Also, where did you put it in the oven? So what I'd done, it, what I'd done is, I because I was in a bit of a rush, I pulled open the oven door and I threw it in, thinking I'll throw it all the way to the back, make it super hot and I'll get it out in 10 minutes. You know it gets hotter in the middle of the oven. Well, right? I didn't know that. No, but I just thought, get it in the back, get all the heat on it. Anyway, one, should have put the top on it because it actually burnt the honey and just didn't work. But two, because it was right at the back. Now this, this is where I feel like it slightly it was... Really? A bit on both sides okay. is that Alex knew it was at the back and rather than very carefully pulling it out he pulled the drawer forward, the shelf forward which obviously would have meant it fell off which it did and then the cheese went everywhere. So yeah com it was completely my fault for chucking it in the back of the oven that was silly. So we're and having a put, divorce. And I should have put... I'm getting the dog. <laughs> Absolutely not. I've already asked him. 
It is mine. No, you thought. But yeah, but it was, it was half and half. But then obviously we had people over, and then we're like, I was like, no, because I was so excited. You were like, like Alex. Alex. No, I know. I was like, Alex, babe, why did you pull out the shelf? And you were like, why have you thrown it to the back of the oven? And I was like, <laughs> oh, the cabin bear. The cabin bear. Because it was like a ten quid cabin bear as well. It would have been so nice. Yeah. Even if I hadn't dropped it. In my defence, it was completely unedible. It was burnt to hell. Yeah, I'd done it, I'd done it too long. <laughs> I should have put the lid in it. Like, that's what I mean. It, I was at four. I I'm going to go make some Mexican food anyway. Now. But honestly, the Stilton, it's like... Banging. Nutty. It's like nutty and not very... Like, it's not very tangy. It's just like... I think you need oh. to make a YouTube channel for cheese. Yeah, I think so too. In the fromage. <sighs> that was so quick. Have you ever think about that? No, Rick. That is, even like fromage starts with F R O as uh, well. Like In the fro. Hey. My Bing. husband is a genius. <laughs> anyway, let me continue after husband interrupted. This is enormous. Now, this is Tory Birch. And I went through a phase of wearing this all the time. Like, it is so big. It's probably not quite me anymore. But in honesty, I'm going to keep it because I feel like if the trends come round again, like, I'll, I'll give it five years. If the trends come around again, I can wear it again. It'll be an amazing piece. And they're so weighty. And they have the matching bracelet. So I can't really give that up yet. And then I think these are Laura Lombardi. I, I really like Laura Lombardi's pieces. Everything's made in brass. So of course, you've got to be really careful with it. And you can't shower in it or anything like that. But she just makes some really lovely types of chains. So I have that and the matching bracelet. And then again, I have another Tory Birch. And I really like this one because it's almost like a matte, mattified gold to this. I've not even got into my own jewelry collections here, guys. Right, then I have a number of pieces from Michael Kors, uh, Michael Kors Jewelry. I did a collaboration with them recently. I really lovely, like, bangles and, and bracelets. These three shouldn't technically be here, but because they're so big, I like to keep them in this collection. I have a few pieces. This is Chloe really fantastic bangle um, and actually i'm really into this sort of thing right now because after san laron has sort of brought it back i really love wearing pieces like this over dresses or over long sleeve things and i often like to wear things over like that who is it that did that originally there's someone who's quite famous for i think he and he's was it Karl Lagerfeld? It might have been Karl Lagerfeld. He always wore his things like this. I also have this from Chanel, and honestly, I might sell this because I never wear it. I bought it so long ago. Um, it's just like a leather cuff. I don't know, maybe, maybe I could wear it again. It would look great over my blue YSL dress, actually. So I'll see. But yes, yeah, so it's a little bit of leather cuff. I bought that so long ago. And then the final one is a mez. And this was a really gorgeous present from Luxury Promise. Luxury Promise sell pre-owned bags primarily, uh, and primarily Hermes and Chanel. It's a great place to go and find your bags. So this was a really gorgeous Christmas present they sent me once, and I couldn't actually believe it, but it's a really incredible Hermes bangle, or cuff. And then, last but not least in here, I have a load of these. Do you remember when these are huge? the lovely shell, all the shell vibe things. And honestly, I do take these with me when I go away on holidays. They do look fab when you're in like a really stunning little tiny bikini and you've got loads of layers of beautiful jewellery. It does look cool and I really think this is going to come around again. So I'm going to keep those because I, I do feel they're going to come around again. And then as well as those, these three sections here. A couple of silver bits including some more Michael Kors bangles. A couple of the Thomas Sabo pieces again, like the beautiful earrings they go together like moon and stars I'm really into that vibe still these are really really pretty i got these last year for the right outfit these do look really gorgeous especially if you're wearing like full velvet they're stunning yeah hoops and things like that so that's all in there then a couple of gold bits in here i think these are rosalia i always get questions about these and about these i think they're both rosalia i think it's called rosalia these are sammy maria earrings gorgeous super like beaten up gold perfect hoops got some Versace hoops in there that's a Valentino ear bar this is Amelia's Raimi these are Raimi as well these really beautiful hoops so they're all kind of like hoops kind of vibes and then in here are super dangly ones we have oh where are these from oh it doesn't say oh, I can't remember but they're so so pretty sorry guys I'm struggling here with these these are Chloe these beautiful ones here are Chloe's 
And then again, these are so pretty. These might be Alighieri actually, but they go with a few of the other pieces that are in this realm. So they're in there. And then these are so big, they're kind of a bit out on their own. I'm kind of keeping these for fan something fancy dress or something on a theme because they'll come in handy, I think. So that's the first section. These are the straps for my dresses, my Holland Cooper dresses that I made. These are the straps for them. So I like to keep the straps there in case I like to switch them out. My piece de resistance actually is this tray of jewellery. This is my current Edge of Ember collection. Honestly, this is this is a bit naughty because it's got a couple of rogues in here, like the beautiful new earrings that I just bought in the last video. And it's got my Loewe necklace in there, which shouldn't be in there. So this this is this is what I'm saying. It needs a really good cleanup. It's got my Fendi earrings in here. Also not meant to be in here. And then I also bought these recently, which I love. These big, these big chunky droplets, which are great. Also Little Valentino pearl studs. Beautiful, beautiful ring that Alex got me a couple of years ago with a ruby in it. This is stunning because this is from this really gorgeous brand that where you kind of create your own custom ring online. I'll try and remember what it's called and I'll leave it linked down below, but I just adore this ring. Yeah, okay, great. That's cleaned up. So I need to just tidy this up a tiny bit more now. Um, but this is, this is my Edge of Ember collection. So those are in here, but I have a number of these. So these again are stackers. And they're really brilliant, especially for travel and like taking things around. These are brilliant little cases to own. But what I've done is I've created a case per collection that I've made. So I keep my entire collections all together inside each and every one of these. So starting from collection one, Edge of Ember collection one is this one. And it was the Cosmos collection. And I'm so proud of this. We brought this out during lockdown. Um, this was one of our most favourite pieces. We sold so many of these. This incredible Orion ear cuff. Such a great piece, but it's super comfortable as well. Like it just hooks over and just sits there. This is one of my favourite pieces I've ever designed. The Orion ring. Again, it's in the full shape of the Orion's belt constellation in this big chunky ring, and I think it's just so amazing. I would love to make this in gold, and I did speak to the team about making this in gold, and they said it would just make it so, so expensive. But if you guys would ever be interested in seeing this in gold, you're probably talking around the thousand pound mark though for the amount of gold and intri intricacies it needs. But if any of you would be up for it, then we could maybe look into that. And even things like this, like this was our, I think this was called our Nova ring. And this was my inspiration for developing for our gold and diamonds range, this beautiful marquee gold and diamond ring. So if you see this was, this was Cosmos years ago. This is gold plated, whereas this is diamond and gold, 14 karat gold. And it's because this ring is just so beautiful and we saw so many and I thought maybe people would like a more forever piece of that. I'm sure a couple of pieces we still do sell. In fact, I think one of them is, so this is a Milky Way necklace, super dainty, gorgeous little piece with little gems hanging off it, like the sporadic little Milky Way of stars. That they, We still sell this. I think it's beautiful. It's a perfect like piece if you're looking for a last minute Prezi. But I love to keep this all together and really, really safe. Oh, and again, look. Oh, such a great ring. So that's Cosmos. So I keep that all in there. Then next collection was Paradise, the Paradise collection. And it was meant to be, again, it's because we're still locked down and all I was dreaming about was going away on holiday. And so I designed this collection, very much based on like turquoise gems and pearls. Just very like, almost like Tahiti vibes. Yeah, so on the Edge of Ember website, within the Victoria section, obviously I've got my latest Gaia collection and the Diamonds collection, which is the primary ones we're still selling. Oh my gosh, we're still selling one of the Cosmos pieces. This one here, we're still selling. Because you can get this engraved on the back, so again, it's a great present idea. We still sell the Orion ear cuff that I was just wearing. We still sell that. Oh, fantastic. So we do, people do love that. Oh, and we're still selling this gorgeous pendant as well, which again is Orion, Orion over the sea. That's the idea that the moon shape is kind of like the sea. And then Orion up in the sky. Three stars in a row earrings as well, the Orion studs. We still sell Athene, and we definitely still sell. We also did a matching pendant for that to match with it, um, which is stunning. And again, you can have it engraved on the back. So this one I have both. This beautiful little chain with the blue turquoises. Again, it makes such a great little holiday piece. Super cute little bikini on. Yeah, the Riviera turquoise necklace. We still sell that. And we, we sell 
the matching little earrings are like double studs. It's like one stud that goes in, it's like a pearl and then a turquoise. This is one of my favourite pieces which we don't sell, uh, which was the Lariat necklace and it's stunning. So one half is pearls and turquoise and the other half is a chain and then it just sort of falls down the decolletage perfect with a bikini. So I've got all of that all just tucked into into here. I just like to keep things really organised and if I want to go back and look through like the archives, they're all together. The thing that we don't now make, which um, which is such a shame, which came in the Paradise collection, I think, were these enormous chunky chains. Because I was going through my phase of loving chunky chains. Fastening on this, loved these, loved them. I've got a couple of pieces that were from Paradise, like these super big chunky necklaces. But then into Gaia, we have like, I mean, this, this is one of my favorite pieces that we've made. This is the bracelet. That's my absolute favourites that we ever made. The Gaia collection very much revolves around either green malachite with gold like this. So I have this in the pendant. And we also then did it in the silver, green malachite with silver. And then on the back everything, you know, all everything it always has like an extra touch. Like I wanted things to be really, really special. And of course, so then we did like the matching studs. These are my best sellers, so beautiful droplets like this. So that's Gaia collection, but as you know, I've just launched my gold and diamonds collection. And so we have a number of the most beautiful pieces, like these gold and diamond rings with marquee shaped diamonds within them. And this one again, it's just a perfect layering piece that'll like last you forever. So in honesty, currently I'm wearing primarily the, so the marquee, the gorgeous marquee gold hoops I wear most days, as well as we did a beautiful huggy that matches with the ring. Goes around like this and it has this almost like ladder effect in the marquee diamonds. Those two are my pride and joys in honesty at like this. This whole collection, this gold and diamonds collection is just really, really, really special and it's really exciting to work with such amazing materials like this. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you my jewellery collection, which of course will include all my Edge of Ember, so I'm sorry to have to go on about that, obviously. As you know, I work with Edge of Ember. That's not something new, just something I'm very, very proud of. But yeah, so that's my jewellery collection, so that's what I'm doing right now, just putting everything away. Yes! Okay, I have finished laying out everything. I've got my entire gold collection over here, separated by the different necklaces that we do. We do uh, one, two, three, four, five necklaces. This is a bracelet we were trialing out, which I love, but it's just quite pricey to make. And I've got two of the same one there, but then I've got all of my Gaia, like all of my Gaia collection earrings and pieces, and then all of my Gaia rings mixed in with the gold collection rings here. Gold collection earrings, earrings again here, and then here are the studs, all the different studs that we do as well and then here we have all the different Gaia necklaces again broken up by style um, and then I've just thrown in my some of my other favorite earrings that I do wear as well outside of my collections just so they're there yeah so this is far far better now I feel a lot more on top of this which is great so I'm gonna get all this packed away <laughs> 